Hey everyone, this is Heather and I'm finally back with another video. I've had a lot going on lately in my life, including everything to do with Wild Whisper, of course. If you're not following Wild Whisper, that is a company that I began with my good friend Susie, and we are doing really great. We have This is our fifth collection we've released, which is just crazy. We're releasing one every month. Um, this month, March, is the No Place Like Home collection, and of course it is all about the sense of home, the sense of place, um, just things that make you feel at home. So it's a really fun one, it's close to my heart, and it's actually very timely because my husband Andrew and I have just moved. We went from our basement suite, which I have been living in for three and a half years, um, and now we are in a ground floor condo in Calgary, Alberta here. And I'm so happy to be here. I have my own craft room now, which is where I am now. I'm still figuring out the lighting. Um, I'm setting everything up, so sorry about some of the glare, but it will get better. And I have this big, beautiful window over to my right here, so I'm going to have nice daylight. Right now I'm filming in the evening, but hopefully some of my videos will have daylight in them from now on, which will be a huge change. Um, for the better, of course, and so I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, this is the No Place Like Home collection, so if you want to see the details of this, go over to Wild Whisper's YouTube channel or Wild Whisper's website, and you can check out the collection there. Um, there are 12 by 12 papers as well as Project Life cards, which are really awesome and it's just a super fun one. So check it out, I'll leave the links in the description down below. And I'm actually gonna do sort of a very brief craft room tour. I'm not unpacked by any means, I still have several boxes, there's stuff everywhere, but I'm just so excited I want to give you an overview of what I've got here. Um, I wish I had taken pictures or video of my previous space, I didn't get around to it, but previously in the basement suite I did have a decent sized space, but it was just in the middle of our living space sort of. We had a big open area um, with the living room at one end and sort of a dining random area in the middle. Um, so my craft room was in that spot and then the kitchen was over here. So I did have a great space before with lots of room but it's nice that I have my own craft room now so everything is contained. I can close the door to film videos now. My husband has previously made a lot of noise playing his video games and such while I'm trying to film or voiceover. So you may have noticed that in the background of some of the audio of my videos. So it should get better. Um, I'm just really looking forward to getting settled in here and I really love the place. Again, the natural light is such a, such a big thing for us. So it'll be really fun. Anyways, I'm going to jump right into that, and don't forget to check out the Wild Whisper March collection. So this is the entry to my craft room right now, and like I said, by no means is it unpacked. I have several more boxes here in the hall that I need to bring in here, as well as this box down here. There's also some boxes over there, and around the corner. This is all my decor items, so some of those I will be displaying around the house and some I'll be putting in storage because we have so much more storage here than at our old place. So just to back up, this is the door to the craft room. There is a closet over here. This is actually our old, and by our I mean mine and Susie's, vintage door that we bought for our Wild Whisper business. Um, we use it as display when we do pop-up shops. We clip things to here to display them using some little clothespins, so that's fun. It's gonna live in my craft room and I'll probably display some stuff on there too. Down here I've got all the art that I need to hang around the house. Here I've got a long bench and I got this at a some kind of home store anyway, and I've actually got two more little ones that match it, and right now I'm just storing blankets in there, but because we have more storage, I'll be able to move those to the laundry room, and I'm not sure what I'll keep in there yet, but stuff that I don't access too often, um, that I don't need in my view to remember to use it, so 
I'm not sure yet, but I will of course be doing an update. For now, I've got this stuff on top, but I have to find homes for it as well. Over here on the floor, I've got my sewing machine, but I'll be setting that up on my desk soon. This desk I've actually already replaced. I was just at Ikea the other day and got these legs. Um, they are, what are they called? can't read them, but they're the sort of curved legs, and these are in black, and then I got just a white tabletop. So the table's going to be a bit narrower than this and about the same length, I believe. So we'll see how that works. I do love having this huge table, and my plan is actually to use the bench as a guest seating um, when I have Susie or other friends over for crops so they can pull it up to the table and work on this side of the table and I will sit over here to work. So yeah, it should be good. I'm excited to have sort of a designated spot for that. And we actually have a kitchen table that we're not going to be using so I'm hoping I can store it kind of under the new table and pull it out when I need it. Although um, this new craft table is a bit too short to put the um, kitchen table under, so I'm not sure if I'll raise it or shorten the other one. We'll have to see. If you have any ideas, let me know. And so over here, I've got this big yellow shelf that I've had for ages. I actually got it from my mom. Um, she's had it for ages and spray painted it, and it's just sort of an industrial storage shelf that people would usually use in their garage or something, but I quite like it. I love the color and it just adds a pop of color to the room. I've got lots of pops of color, including my chair and my Raskog cart over there. Um, but I'm going to be keeping my albums up here. I've got some of my camera collection up there, my typewriter here, my basket of mini albums here, and some of my dies and stuff down there. I have a lot more to put on this shelf, including my paper rack thing, and yeah, I'm going to try and keep it a bit more open than it was before because I like how that looks, but I'll have some decor items on there as well as actually useful things for scrapbooking too. And in my Raskog, I have not organized this at all, but I'm going to be keeping maybe some of my mixed media stuff in there. Um, I've got my wedding photos and some cards all printed in this cute basket and that's a project that I'm hoping to tackle soon so that will stay close at hand. Um, and then I have some different bottles and containers that I might store some things in there. Over here, I hope I'm not making you dizzy. Over here I've got my printer set up with some other junk on there. This is one of the bench things that matches the other bench on the other side of the room, but I have to fix the legs on it because it fell off. But I keep um, like printer paper and stuff in there. And as I mentioned, these are decor items to be unpacked. Then over here in the closet, um, I've got so much space in here. I'm just really excited. This is just mostly office stuff that we moved from a different place. Um, up here I've got some more craft stuff, some items that I might want to alter like tins and boxes, and some couple little spare albums up here. These bins I used to keep under my desk, but I wanted to clear that out a bit, so even though I access it a lot, I decided to put it in the closet, but I can easily close this up and make it look a lot more clean, which is nice. And these are just more things I need to find homes for. So that basically gives you a view of what my craft room's gonna be like. So I've got this nice big window over here, which will be great in the daylight for filming videos and whatnot. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in seeing an updated video when I do get around to unpacking everything. It may take me a while to get completely settled, but I'm really looking forward to having my own space. I'm beyond excited. So yeah, sorry that I've been missing in action for a little while, but I'm hoping to get back to it. I'm hoping to film some uh, process videos. I've actually got several layouts that I need to share with you all. So I hope you look forward to those and let me know of any other requests you may have of things you might want me to do or film 
anything like that. So again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!